everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember, if you are new to this channel, remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and remember to share the videos to all your friends and all your socials. And this time it's Manchester United 1, Crystal Palace unfortunately 3. <sighs> Lord have mercy on our soul. Lord, have mercy on us. We have started the season in despair. We have dropped three points. We lost our first game against Crystal Palace. Repetition of last season's match against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. Yet again, we lose. We drop another three points against Palace. Straight two defeats, back-to-back -back defeats in a row. Disappointing. All I've got to say, guys, is that, boy, we need to sign. We need to sign. And how terrible we was at. Who coaches Manchester United? Who coaches Manchester United? Is it Oli? Is it, is it, is it Michael Carrick? Is it Mike Phelan? Is it, is it, what's his name? Kieran McKenna? i just like to know, who coaches Manchester United? Because there's some serious work that needs to be done at Manchester United. And if we are not careful... If you're not careful, if you're not analysing and seeing the situation, we're going to have problems throughout the season. It was a terrible, terrible performance. Disappointing. Passing was just terrible. The level of creativity was just lackluster, guys. It's just, it's just, it just wasn't the best game to see. Ah, only got a social, you have to be disappointed. You have to be disappointed with yourself because you set the team up badly. With having Scott Menten Tomine starting, Daniel James, I don't care if Mason Greenwood was not fit, he should have started, he should have started your best 11. We have a game, a very important game, first game of the season, especially when everyone else has started ahead of us. This was a game where you needed to start your best team. I would have preferred to see Donny Van der Beek, and God say, thank you, Donny Van der Beek, for coming to this club and trying to save us, showing a bit of urgency as soon as you come on. But yet again, we have failed. We have failed. It's been a terrible start to the season. We started the game off very poorly. Very poorly. Sloppy in defence. And today was a game where our defence is to blame. It's our defence that is to blame for today's game, guys. You cannot take that away. No, There's no one else's fault. I'm not going to blame David De Gea for not being able to save these kind of opportunities. The defence was terrible. Vindelof, poor. Poor guy. Ah, uh, no strength, no pace. And, and Maguire himself. <sighs> Maguire tried, but himself as well. Lack lots of pace. Sometimes giving the ball away with sloppy passes. Lindelof is to blame. I couldn't believe the goal that we conceded. Like, especially when Towson scored the first goal. With Crystal Palace going 1-0 up. And then straight away, conceding the second penalty. Which I have to say... Oh, it's not, it was, it was unfair. It was unfair, especially the fact that David De Gea did save the penalty and then Wilfred Zaha stepped up to, to, to save, to, to score the second. I'm just losing my words, guys. I am losing my words. Oh, where was I? With Wilfred Zaha stepping up to take the penalty again, again, which I have to say, very unfair to David De Gea. Just a little bit off his line. But just because of a couple of centimetres of his line, we have to be taken. I, I, I bloody hate these rules. I bloody hate these rules. But then again, back to the match. Um, Will Frazar scoring the penalty. And then all of a sudden, when David the, the Van der Beek came, was, came on, showed a bit of urgency, scoring, making it 2-1. Yeah, thinking that, yeah, this is us. We can probably try and salvage this game, make it 2-2. But oh, no, 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 no. Vindelof again. Lack of strength. If he's if lack of strength, lack of pace, couldn't out muscle with So with taking the taking advantage of the situation and just making it three one, sliding it in, and then that the game goes on. We finish the game three one. Poor, 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 poor match, guys. I don't know what you guys thought about this guy. Please, guys, guy, do let me know of your opinion of this match, and especially your opinion of Victor Vindelof. And Scott McSauce, no mayo today, no spicy mayo, just Scott McTominay today, playing Jane. What you guys thought of his, his performance today? And I have to say, 
especially the way the team is set up to play, guys. You got to tell me what you think about um, the current way of or the way we play. We just have no style. We just have no formality. There's nothing structured about our team play. And that yet, that boils back to coaching. Simple coaching tactics, especially where to be off the ball and with the ball. And that can only lay down to the managers and the coaching and all the coaches. And yet again, I'm tired of saying this again. We need to sort ourselves out. Today, we had our CEO, Ed Woodward, watching a match, as always, watching but not really seeing. Not really seeing what what's going on in the pitch. And if he has to be, if he's sitting there thinking, yeah, we'll find all that stuff after seeing that performance, he needs a slap in the face. He needs a slap in the face and a wake-up call. Him as well, him and the Glazers, and also Oli too needs a slap in the face because he needs to sort himself out. To sit there throughout the whole 90 minutes, sitting on your chair, not being at the touchline. I've had enough of that, Oli. You need to step up on that touchline and correct your players. Make sure they're in position. And that's what I like about other top quality managers. They sit on, stand on that side sideline and instruct their players because they need that. You're a manager or you're a coach. You coach the team and you manage the team throughout the whole match. I don't care. I'm tired of you sitting down and being a nice guy. Yeah, again, guys, we have we we lost we lost we lost our first game of the season. I'm 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 I'm, I'm angry. I'm upset. The day started off mm -hmm. for me and just to end like this. And to go back to work. Guys, Lord have mercy on us. So let's just hope we save. I mean, let's just hope we get some players in, guys. Because we badly need it. And Edward was there to see that we need these players to come in. Because we can't create. We couldn't create. My man of the match has to go to Donny van der Beek. Coming on. Scoring a goal as well. Uh, I just feel absolutely sorry for him to just train his team and just be put in this situation. I never thought that he probably, he probably, he probably himself thought that he would never be in this position. But unfortunately, he is. But for him to come on, show a bit of urgency, get into his positions and his finding spaces and just drilling passes in. I feel you done well. And my donkey of the day, which was had to go between Matt Tomlin's first half display which I thought Oli should have took him off as well as Daniel James to bring on him and Donny van der Beek and Mason Greenwood. As well as, as well as that, he was lucky. But it has to go to Victor Vindelof. Vindelof, out here, you stink. You are an expired Indian takeaway. That's what it is right now. You are an expired Indian takeaway because right now you're normally usually Lindelof when you're good, but when you're expired... You are Vin Delof. Bruv, show yourself in matches. Show some strength and some pace. You have to go to the gym, my guy. We really need a centre-back, guys. I don't know what you guys think about this, but we need a centre-back. We need a new centre-back that's got pace and strength. And it's really good. Because at times when Vin Delof goes on to get a player and, he, and he's successful, I know in his head he's thinking, oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. And we don't want defenders who are gasping whenever they get, whenever they clear an opportunity or clear a clearance or get in, in the way of the defender and intercept to be thinking, oh my God, thank God, thank God. I thought I would have never got that. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want a defender that said, yeah, he got lucky in his mind. Like, him, he was nothing. Just bounce off of the defender, bounce off the opposition, and then just opposition just fly off. That's the type of defender I want. And let's go straight into the player ratings, guys. And today we we have in goal David De Gea. Today, David De Gea. As much as you tried, you also let a goal in. To, you let three goals in, but if I have to say, he was terrible. I would have to give David De Gea five. And on as a right back today, who was that? Timmy, Timothy Fosu Mensa. Timothy can get a four. He couldn't offer anything going forward apart from two crosses in. But still. He has to get four today. We have Victor Vindelof. You today, my guy, you are going to get a three. You was terrible. And Victor, I mean, Harry Maguire himself today as well. You will also get a five. Although your passes went astray at times. Yeah. 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 And who played our left back? Who I thought was appalling. And I hope Manchester United signed a new left back. We need some guts as well on the left back. 
Luke Shaw as well, you will get a five. In midfield, Scott McTominay, I'm going to have to give you a four. Your first half was terrible. Terrible, my guy. You were shit. Making mistakes, giving the ball away, and tackling players and conceding fouls. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppiness. And Paul Pogba as well has to get a five. He as well in the second half, especially the first ten minutes, was just dying. He was dying. He's not back. He's not much Max Sharp. But yeah, going to have to give him a five. On the right wing, Daniel James, I'm going to have to give him an NA because as well, he had a first half. He was non-applicable. He was, he was not, not there. He was not there. And in midfield, Bruno Fernandes as well, I'm going to have to give him a five as well. He was terrible. Um, gave the ball away as well. Sloppy passes. Marcus Rashford, I'm going to have to give him a four. There's nothing I can say about Marcus Rashford right now. It's just the, the decision makings he does sometimes. <laughs> Guys. Anyway, let's just move on to Anthony Marshall before I lose it. Anthony Marshall as well. I'm gonna have to give him a five as well, guys. And the player rate and the man sorry, the manager rating today. My guy Oli. Oli, you're getting a free. It's terrible starting lineup. you you should have made that substitution a double at half time, taking off McTominay and Daniel James. You was terrible sitting on the on the sidelines instead of standing on the touchline. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Set yourself up, bro, to, to succeed. Do that. Construct and coach your team. Anyway, guys, it's, it's been a good show. First match of the day. First match of the season, I mean. And look at us. We go deep in. Guys, remember to subscribe to Red United as well. And make sure you follow the socials as well, guys. I'm trying to be on for, on a road to 4K on the Instagram and also on a road to 1K in, on this channel, guys. If you like this, guys, just subscribe. Remember to share, guys. Remember, guys, to keep it united and keep it red united. Peace out.